Hey everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to make an object spin slash rotate on its axis indefinitely, just constantly in a looping animation uh, using a very simple keyframe and the graph editor. So here we go. Here I've got a cube. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, I'm going to hit I to insert a keyframe and I'm going to select rotation. This keyframe's on frame 1, the current rotation of the cube. Let's advance now, maybe I'll jump to uh, frame 30 or so, and I'm going to R to rotate the cube, Z, Z axis only, and I'm going to turn it just some amount, okay, and it doesn't even really matter how much I'm turning it here, I'll just do about 45 degrees, and that's it. Notice I'm on frame 30, it's rotated, hit I, and key that rotation. Now if we rewind and play, at this stage, you see it basically does that. And what a lot of people want to do with like a car wheel or blenders or a radar on a tank, they just want the thing to spin and spin forever. And so how do we do this? Probably the easiest way is to learn a little bit about the graph editor. So let's go back to frame one. And I'm going to create a new window here. So notice I'm going near a bottom corner until I get the plus sign. I'm going to click, drag up just a little bit. I don't need too much space. And I'm going to change this window from the 3D view to the graph editor. The graph editor gives you a little bit more detailed view of keyframes that you've put in for your object. So the timeline shows you keyframes. The graph editor really gives you the details and the values changing. Cursor in the graph editor window, hit the home key on your keyboard for it to sort of try to make the graph fit in the window as best as it can. I use the mouse wheel to scroll out a little. I'll slide over a little bit. And you're going to notice something. You're going to notice on the timeline here, the, uh, the way this goes, it starts slowly, picks up, and then it eases at the end. I want to change that. I just want this to be a straight line, right? I want it to be a constant turn. So you can hit A to select everything, okay, all the keyframes, and there's only two of them. But once you have all of them, all I'm going to do here in the graph editor menu is go key, interpolation mode and take linear right now it's uh, one of these ones here that just eases it in and eases it out I just want linear so as soon as you click it you'll see the change now it just goes straight from 0 degrees and apparently I did about 60 degrees so I went from 0 to 60 degrees on keyframe 30 now this isn't bad if I rewind and play constant turn but it stops Okay, how do we get the cyclic motion here? Well, just like all your menus that are on the side here, you can press N to open and shut menus. The graph editor has its own little menu there, so I'm just pressing N. And with it open, go down to Modifier tab. And the Modifier tab is going to have a modifier for So Add Modifier and Cycles, which sounds like it's going to cycle things. So we pick Cycles. You'll see already it's starting to cycle but notice how it cycles. It does our motion and then fully repeats, so it jumps right back. So if I did it now, you're going to see it just snaps back, which, I don't know, you may find a use for that, but not here. So let's change this so it just keeps building on itself and going forever. This one's really easy. I'll say before frame zero, let's say no cycles. That flattens the curve out there. And let's say after my last keyframe, repeat the motion, but with an offset. And so basically it just repeats the change continuing on from wherever it was. And that's what the offset is. So, boom. And you see now it just goes on and on and on and on forever. So now if I already go to my play, you can see there I have the cube rotating forever. Now if that's too slow for you, you need it to be a little faster, no problem. All you can do with keyframes selected, you can hit Alt-A to select nothing, border select, you can select your keyframe there, hit G to grab it, and you can slide these keyframes and drag them just like you drag, I shouldn't have dragged the uh, this one down here, sorry. So Alt A for nothing, I'll just do a little B for border select, and that's the one. Grab, and I can slide it in, and now it's reaching, you know, it's 60 degrees in only 20 keyframes, and that continues. So this is really easy to do. You could have done this too here in the timeline or in the dope sheet. And so now it spins faster and it spins forever. If there is a time you want this to end, 
I'll let you fiddle with it, but you can see here you can restrict the frame range uh, when the cycles ends. And so you can see here, you know, I can actually control it. Whoops, I went off the screen. You can actually control it. I'm having troubles here. So I'm going to put this at 50. And so there we go. So you can see you can actually have precise when it's going to cycle and when it's not going to cycle. And zero is just the default forever. Hey, what happened there? There we go. Turn it off. And that's basically it for forever motion. Now, since you're here, I'm actually just going to shut this window here. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to bring it down. And whoops, I didn't shut it. Let's take this and overlap it. There we go. I'm going to show you one little last trick here. A common thing people like to do with this is like the planet rotating around a planet. Just may as well show you that quickly here while I got this thing rotating so nicely. I'm going to take my cube and I'm going to grab it. Y, so GY. I'm going to move it out here. I'm going to add an empty. So this is something that won't be rendered but it still has a lot of properties that objects have. So I'll just do a, maybe I'll do a sphere for this one. So it's sitting there and I'm going to parent the cube to this empty. So select the cube, hold the shift key, select the empty, and then press control P. And it'll say set the parent to, and I'll say object. And now that is set. And now, if you actually do the exact same thing I just did with the cube, and I do it super quickly on this empty, what you're going to see is you're going to see a nice little effect. So I'm back on frame one now. I select the empty. Its timeline is free. Let's keyframe. I, rotation. Let's advance in time a certain amount. Let's rotate Z a little amount here doesn't really matter how much. Now I'm on frame 47. I've rotated my empty. You see because it was parented, it hooked the cube along with it. And now I'm going to keyframe that rotation of the empty. And I'm going to do exactly what I did with the cube to make it go forever. I'm going to make my new window. I'm going to go to the graph editor. I'm going to hit the home key. Zoom out a little bit. I've got all those keyframes selected. I'm going to set the key type to interpolation linear. Perfect. I'm going to go to the modifier tab. I'm going to add a cycles and I'm going to say none before repeat with offset. Whoops, let's select all here. There we go. I got to select the keyframe. Select them. Add modifier cycles. Repeat with offset. No cycles before. And the overall result, I got this thing spinning forever with this thing parented to it, and it's also spinning. And I think we have not a bad little effect there for a five, six minute video. And let's watch this in action. And there you go. You got your little orbiting planet spinning around forever and ever. Anyways, that's video. Hope you learned a trick or two there. You can apply it to your things. Thanks for watching.